moment of five questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. Great job, Scooby. All right, guys, we are <laughs> we are back with this edition of five questions with WRS when we answer your guys' questions that you guys send in uh, via very different ways. Yeah. <laughs> <Fucking hell. laughs> Well, you don't like me calling Scooter Street, oh, and, he, and, and he don't like me called BG. Alright. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, oh, train of thought, come on. Uh, okay. You guys can uh, ask us questions via Facebook, via Twitter, or in the comment section down below. <laughs> what the fuck you guys doing? I don't know, what the hell? What the hell Great Beard's doing? Let's go ahead and get started with the first Let's question. Let's do this, man. I'm ready to ask Scooter Street, let's go. First question is asked by Greg Chulette. Uh, have you guys ever visited or vacationed in Massachusetts or Rhode Island? Nope, not going to. I, I'm not going to A-Train's neck of the woods. A-Train? <laughs> he lives in Massachusetts? Yeah. Uh, Boston Mass! <laughs> Boston Mass. Hey, here's the thing. I don't like traveling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we don't really like traveling that much, so. Tom, you ever been to Massachusetts or uh, Rhode Island? Never felt the reason to go. Yeah. Uh, so no, uh, no, you'll never see us in yeah. uh, Massachusetts or Rhode Island, unless we get big and we start getting uh, yeah. big millions of views. And yeah, all that millions stuff. of dollars, and we fly. And everywhere. somebody wants us there. And we uh, fly everywhere. Like fly, some fly. people can get a if we get a radio deal, like some people can. Or 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 get a television show. Yeah, like some you know, people like, can. Or like goddamn blonde weak Jake Paul over here. I'm sorry, he sucks. Jake Logan, they're all the same. They're all the same. They're they're. They're 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 shitty brothers and, and they both suck. I, I'm, I'm, I they hate mooch. They are moochers. Yes. And I'm sorry, I hate big YouTubers. I really do. Yeah. Because they think their shit don't stink and say fuck the small guys. You know. You know. Uh, well, now I'm on bigger and better things. I don't need the average Joe's. Yeah, anymore. but here here's the thing. They're, 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 we would never the change that. The big YouTubers that. to me is like is like they want to bury the small guys. Mm -hmm. Well, well, YouTube shows favoritism too. So. Well, that's pretty there too. We already established that. Uh, Greg's next, next question is, uh, which would be or would have a great career if uh, their lives were not cut short? David Von Erich or Gino Hernandez? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say I, I like Gino Hernandez. He was a good heel, and he had a pretty good career at his young age. Mm -hmm. But if I had to choose which one would have been a bigger star, it would have been David Von Eric because he was on his way. He was on his way to be the NWA World Champion. He was going to beat Ric Flair. And, and they were already having feuds. And to be honest, yeah, out of the Von Erichs, I, I, I know Nick Kurtz likes Kerry, which I like Kerry too. He's probably the second best worker out of the Von Erichs. To me, the number one best worker was David Von Eric, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Because he had talent. Yeah, he didn't have the good looks, but you don't need good looks. If you could work, Cut a good promo. You don't need to look good. Mm -hmm. And and David Von Erich to me was going to be the bigger star because he was going to be NWA World Champion, and he was going to and he was probably going to be breaking away from World Class in my opinion. Well, he probably wasn't going to break away, but he would have put World Class on a bigger map. You know, and, and here's the thing: like, well, I mean, you're bringing that NWA Champion there. Yeah. So. And, and here's the thing: and then and then you got you know the deaths of all of them. You know, but. Like I said, I think David Von Eric would have been the bigger star and would have had a bigger future, and probably would have. And here's the thing: I heard World Class was going to be uh, they were going to go all over the world, but Fritz didn't want to do it. You know, they were going to make it like global promotion, like WWF. But Fritz was an old schooler and wanted to stay in old Texas. Yes. Which, which is nothing wrong with Texas, but I have to go with David Von Eric. David Von Eric or Gino Hernandez? Oh, Gino Hernandez. Uh I thought, I, I, I thought he's a, he, he a great worker. I, I, I thought he was very... Oh, him and Chris, Chris very, Adams, the dynamic duo. Yeah, very, was established, very established. Very uh, established. But uh, as, as far as career-wise goes, I, I, I will have to give it to David. Well, I'm going to go the opposite way. I thought I thought more upside was going to be on Gino Hernandez more than uh, David. But you guys were right about the NWA Championship. Um... But sooner than later, 
baby faces don't have near as longevity as a heel does. Not in true. my in my opinion. That's true. So that's why I'd go with Gino over David. But either way, I think both of them, if their lives were not cut short, I think they both would have been way bigger stars yeah. than, than they were. Yeah. Uh, granted, uh, you know. Uh, but you their, know, their and, lives. and it's like it's like you know the same thing. You know, to me, both lives ended tragically. And uh, it's it's very sad that 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 that, that talents they like, got cut like, short at the prime yeah, of their career. Talents like that right there, you know, just just went in obscurity. Mm -hmm. Um, next question asked by Frankadinkus three hundred twenty seven. Uh, do you guys prefer AJ Styles as a heel or a face? Uh, I prefer AJ Styles better as a heel. He's been boys for a long time. Him with the club is a good team. Like, mm -hmm. him being paired, finally Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson get something. Yeah, they get something. Because they've been fucking floundering. They haven't been getting deadly poo. And you know why? Because WWE don't know how to use people. And, and then they want to know why. Well, well, why does WWE, why does, why do our fans always cater to these guys that we don't use? Because they're actually talented. And you don't show it. Mm -hmm. Or, or you show it, but they lose every fucking week. Yeah, uh, it, you know, loose to guys that are actually a hell of a lot, they're a lot shittier. Yeah. And like I said, I prefer AJ Styles heel because I, 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 I baby face, it was good for a while, but now it's kind of stagnant as baby face to me for AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and he's lost to Ricochet. It's a perfect time for him to turn heel and turn. Yeah. And, and then finally have Ricochet fucking, because AJ Styles lost him, lost to him. It's time to switch heel mm -hmm. and fucking get some heat. You know, beat beat fucking Ricochet down. You, you Gallows and Anderson, and get some fucking heat. Cause Ricochet's, I I like Ricochet. A lot of people don't like him, but I like Ricochet and I like AJ Styles. So, gonna, yeah. So, well, but I think it's time to turn heel. Heel or babyface? I I, th I think you ought to turn heel because because when he come in, he was the heel. You know, and, and and he did. You know, nobody had had to, had to say this right here. They everybody knew who he was when he first when he walked in the door. Everybody knew him. He knew they knew he was the star. They knew he was. They they knew he was the star. And and he's little little spitted with with with, with, with the John Cena. You know, and he just come out and just told the truth. You know, he he just he looked, he looked at Cena right in his face and said, "You bury people like me." Well, sadly enough, you know, that, those were some of the matches that I did enjoy. Yeah, yeah him was, him and AJ. Was, AJ Styles and John Cena put on great matches. Yeah, you know, and, and that right there gave a chance. You know, I enjoyed that. For you. you know, that that people that that's that's you know they heard us of AJ but never really you know seen what talent he really had unless you know they say they watched him in TNA and that right there you know was was the younger years. Mm -hmm. Now that right there, this right here was a time was a, showing him against Cena. Who Cena was Cena? You know, I don't like him, but you know that's beside the point. But he showed the people there, hey, this guy's got talent. I'm going to go with I like him as a heel better. Yeah. But uh, just because, and this, and this is one thing, and this is the one reason why I really don't like a lot of the faces in WWE is for this simple reason. They make them goofy. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 yeah. When, yeah. When they That's why face, I don't like yeah. faces. Yeah, exactly. They make them, like WWE makes them too goofy. Like Seth Rollins, he was a great fucking yeah. heel. Once he came babyface, that's when I turned. I turned real quick on Seth you know, Rollins. Uh, I don't know, man. They, they, they just make him just too fucking goofy. When Bobby Roode came in, I was like, oh, shit, it's Bobby Roode. When they turned him face and he was shaking his ass with the New Day, turned real quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Goofy, goofy. Babyface, like, I, like, they were heels you know. when they came to NXT, right? And once, or... Or they were, so I guess that's why I always prefer they, heels over. Yeah, yeah they make know, and they make had, baby faces you know, nowadays look goofy. And, and we've had this right here discussion before too. You know, the, the baby face that they, they make goofy. The guys are supposed to be monsters that comes in there. What do they do? They turn them into puppy dogs. You know, fucking Braun Strowman would be a great heel, not a baby face. No. You know, so. and, and 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 the Miz was a great fucking heel. You turn him baby face. Him and Maurice, I enjoyed his heels. Mm -hmm. You turn him baby face. What? 
What? What to get over that shit and that, that shit misses? That, that misses shit fucking Ms. Or yeah, yeah, fucking that shit goddamn yeah. USA Network show, Ms. and Mrs. Yeah. And all because all because you want to get a little bit of extra uh, extra revenue money there, Vince. You want to switch him fucking baby face? Nah, I'll leave him heal. I, I'll watch the show if he was heal. Him baby face, Miz, don't like. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just fucking faces yeah. just kill it for me. Uh, yeah, they mm-hmm. kill me nowadays. I, I, I can't take a baby face serious anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. You know, they, they don't sell good. Things they don't changed fucking... a lot since, since the short tour days about a baby face. To me. You know, a, a baby face in the short tour days. You and know, nowadays. It, it was like this right here, you know, and, and, and people don't realize this right here. Back, back in the day, you, you took a face, you took a heel. Well, this face and this heel meets at the top. But it's not that way anymore. And, and nowadays, people don't like baby faces anymore. Mm-hmm. They like heels. And, that, and, that, and that's for the simple reason. They're too damn goofy. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next question. Asked by Joe Lawn. Joe, mow that line. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck. Our, 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 our fucking line was horrible. Yeah. yeah it was. Uh, it took fucking forever to mow. But, yeah. We're uh, going to kind of ring that problem, though. That, that, no problem. Um, his question is, do you think it, it was shocking when Hulk Hogan turned heel? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say it wasn't really a shock to me, because yeah. here's why. When Hogan came in to WCW, people booed him because they got tired of seeing the red and yellow. They got tired of him saying prayers, take vitamins and all this. They're tired of the shirt ripped off. They're tired of the fucking 90-year-old leg drop. What's that? Well, it- <laughs> And, and that's the reason why Kevin Sullivan said it was a perfect time to have him at Disney. Yeah. We're going to do b- b- yeah. B- b- Boo Mickey yeah, Mouse. <laughs> he, he was going to the arenas and he was getting booed. I remember I was watching a fucking 94 episode when he came out on a Worldwide. People booed him. Mm-hmm. Well, they cheered him because they're at Disney. But, but a lot, I heard a lot of boos. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because they got tired of seeing the red and yellow and everything else. And God, that Dungeon of Doom gimmick. Hogan didn't want to work with no monster heels. Fuck, it was a chore for him to work with Vader, for God's sake. It took him fucking forever. The only one that he worked as a heel, with, as a babyface, was fucking Flair. Mm-hmm. He said, I had no problem working with Flair. Well, of course you had no problem working with Flair. And then you bury Flair, and of course he gets buried all through WCW. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Rick. Yeah, well, well, in WCW, poor Rick. And, and, and fucking... Hogan turned heel. I wasn't really shocked about it. Now, now it fit it fit him joining Hall and Nash because both of these guys were New York guys. Mm-hmm. Where was Hogan? New he York. was he was a WWF guy, mm-hmm. so it fit. If it, it did fit, it fit, it, it, and I'm glad it happened because then Hogan had a little. He had something. That he had was, something like to to revitalize his career. Yeah, to revamp. He kind of revamped his career right yeah. there. Him, which which they, is, is and short. having the big fucking black beard ha, went goddamn get some goddamn Hollywood Hogan goddamn black and white have goddamn lightning down his goddamn he yeah. had to it was a he revamped himself mm-hmm. where it's not red and yellow anymore and then of course he went back to red and yellow but 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 you got to change like he got you know when he went to Hollywood Hogan you know that got him a few more years yeah. Uh, to do something different. Yeah, and of course he came back to the red and yellow yeah, later. Which was trash. Which was trash, but... But, okay, this is, this is what I want to say is... Was it was it shocking in a way? Yeah. Because, At the time. Because you never really seen him as a, as a heel unless you watch, like, you know, Memphis or something. But, or AWA. <laughs> yeah, or, or early AWA, or early WWF. Yeah. Because uh, he was heel at those times. Yes. But... Uh, it was a shocking to a degree, but, you know, I was got to realize, you know, Bobby Heenan kind of ruined it, too. Well, Bobby Heenan was playing Bobby Heenan. Yeah. You know, well, I've been saying all these years. Oh, well, I've been saying all these he years. He kind of goes out, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Whose side is he on? <laughs> but, see, that's Bobby doing the same Bobby stuff, because Bobby never liked Hogan anyway. Yeah. At that time, as a, as a color guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he never liked Hogan, because he always had a face. And then he has the... the and then, then Hogan does the leg drop on Savage, gives the thumbs yeah, up. And, and, and Bobby, Bobby played to him. Ah, what I've been saying all these years, huh? <laughs> but and a lot of people said that Bobby ruined it. Bobby didn't ruin it. Bobby was doing Bobby. He was he he was doing what he needed to do. Because, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't too shocking. 
and and, and I enjoyed all the crap being thrown. And then and then at this time too, you gotta realize ninety four was not the best year in WCW. Oh, no. It was it no. was a pretty shitty year oh, in yes, WCW. It was. So they needed to do something. Yeah, to cause, change the tide. Because because ninety four, you know, Hogan comes in. He's still doing the red and yellow thing, even in ninety five. So they needed to do something because they, they knew they had to change. Like stuff. honestly, like, honestly well, I bet you they were like, "This Hogan gimmick with the red and yellow is not working." So so go back and watch some of those fucking shows from ninety four and ninety five. They I, were pretty horrible. I yeah. think I think what it was is whoever did it, you know, was the, you know at that time he got smart. Whoever whoever decided to change that, yeah, at that right there time, you know, it was it was like you know, pe- people were getting bored, and 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 man just it, it, and man he just come out as a big shock to people because everybody was used to seeing him come out and the, and the yellow and, and, and red and shit like that right there, you know, it, fuck that. Were you, you know? shocked about? It? Not not really. All I didn't like Hogan. It, whether he you was never a really like never Hogan. really liked Hogan anyway. But I enjoyed the great promo Hogan did. All this trash I did it for the money. <laughs> all, all this trash. All in this trash ring in this ring, ring represents these fans out here. I, I enjoyed it. He got heat because the crowd uh, fucking threw every trash in the ring. But the only when you know, you, you know, here's the thing. You know, he didn't like wrestling with Vader because Vader would hit that motherfucker. He didn't like that. Well, Hogan was like Sean, a pussy. Yeah. Oh, I'm being honest. Let's go to the last question. Let's all go right. to the last question. Asked by Radical Velocity. Radical Velocity. A train not here tonight. No, um, no, he was. You, you're <laughs> chugging along. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think is the main reason why everyone gets offended easily these days? Oh boy, I'm glad. I'm glad. Radical velocity asked this question. People are so fucking pussyfied. They they are, man. Like if you take an opinion. Listen, your like, opinion. Your opinion. That's like something people get you mad. think or that, you, you believe. Yeah, it. and people get mad how I bury fucking indie wrestling. Indie wrestling's trash. It is trash. And people get mad and come at me. Oh, man, you're a WWE supporter. I say WWE sucks, too. Yeah, so they, yeah. And see, that's what I'm saying. People are, oh, you're a WWE well, guy. they suck, but they got stars at least. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> say, They suck, but at least they got stars. Here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and, uh, uh, just like, I'm like Jim Quinn. But wrestling's dead anymore. There is no good wrestling anymore. No, res- wrestling, like I said again, wrestling is not popular anymore. It's gone. You know, and people's like, why are you saying wrestling ain't popular anymore? Go look at the cracks. And a lot of people said that AEW is on a rise. Well, I saw one of their uh, pictures, and I saw a half-empty building. So how good is that? And, 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 I, and I'm going to be the first one to say this right here. And I don't give a damn if people don't like it or not. You, you, you know why it's dead? Because of what we're what, what we're doing right now, that's why it's dead. That's it. Can't be. It's dead. There is no more. Why? Because the secrets were in, were built. That's why. And, and you can say anything. You can say anything. You it can it say doesn't anything. even have to be wrestling. It don't have to be wrestling. You uh, can say whatever. You, 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 you can you, you, say but then anything. Again, but then again, wrestling fans are some of the most pussified people yeah. I've ever met in my yeah. life. Yeah, pussified fucking people so, I've ever met yes. in my life. And sometimes I'm embarrassed to say I'm a wrestling fan yeah. because of dumb people that fucking love fucking trash baggers, that love fucking shit like this, love dick spots, love hand grenades, loves loves tampons and mouths, loves fucking fucking flaming tube matches, love fucking shit like this, and be like, hey, you know John Moxley is a big star, huh? Well, why the fuck is he wrestling some fucking long-haired fucking chisel chin fuck named Joey Janela for? Trash bagger. Uh, Trash bagger. And why is he in there fucking taking fucking bumps with fucking barbed wire? No, give it to this fucking fucking Bob, Hollywood Bob Holly moniker, Joey Janelle. Here, 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 here's the way, way, way up there. And, and why the fuck is people. Cody wrestling a guy with skateboards? This right Look like a skateboard. Time, they're either, they're either, either crying, crying, crying on, on somebody's shoulder, making fun of somebody, or, or fucking walking protest. You know, I'm sorry. Fucking now, I hate being in this era now. Not only this, but I just hate people in general. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to hate people in general. I was at Walmart with my son and Pops too. Pops is there. Yeah. But I, I, don't, I don't think you really, I, I think you look somewhere else. I, I think you were looking at the games. And uh, some fucking kid with his fucking hair wiped out on this side. He comes up to me, he goes, you play Fortnite? About Fortnite. I was like, I don't, I don't fucking play Fortnite. Fuck Fortnite. Who does that? 
<laughs> well, it's, it, it's, it, 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 it's his Battle Royale game. Uh, but I don't play it, right? And then, then he asked me something about something else. And I'm like, ah, and the kid's probably like fucking, I don't know, 15 or 16. Get the fuck out of my face, all right? You, you look like a douchebag. I don't want to talk to you. You ask me about something I don't even fucking play, and then you want to ask me about something else. No. Get the fuck out of my face. I don't even know why he came up to me for I don't. I don't fucking know why. But just that annoyed the fuck out of me. That I wanted to slap the shit out of this 16-year-old. <laughs> I, I hate people! I hate them! I hate people! I, I, I know. I, I just hate... Now, I have no problem with people in general. I just hate people that either A... Ask dumb questions. That was a dumb question. There you go. I hate people that... Leave me alone. Yeah. I hate people that ask dumb... Well, I remember one, one time I was fucking... Fucking... Some guy goes... I remember I was... Nine ninety nine, huh? I was wearing a fucking wrestler shirt. Nine ninety nine. Is that how much you work? <laughs> My stupid ass laughs. Yeah, dumb ass laughs. And I'm like, listen here, buddy. I don't give a fuck what shirt I'm wearing. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. I, it was a workout shirt. I'm trying to fucking work out here, and you're fucking bugging the fuck out of me. So get the fuck out of my face. I hate people. I, no, no, if people or, or if you have fucking, or, or if you fucking have a difference of opinion, people get fucking butt hurt. Like I hate fucking Indian yeah, wrestling people come to me and be like, "Whoa, man, you're a WWE supporter, huh?" No, I'm no supporter of any wrestling nowadays. Fuck. I, I fucking hate fucking fucking these indie fans. They're the Bane people, in my opinion, that can piss me off more than anything. Do you like people? Uh, I, I like people in an instant. That's yeah. respectful. But, 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 but it's like it's right here with, uh, about, about the 999 deal. You know, some guy asked me that right there and wanted to put a joke on me. I'd be like, uh, no, that's how much your wife charges me every night I visit her when you're gone. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Like, who gives a fuck? See, that's why I hate, I hate. I hate dumb people. Like, dumb people is what kills me the most. When you're at dumb to me, if you send me a dumb text or a dumb thing and message, I ain't answering. I, I'm, I, I'm yeah. sorry. You know, people people may think, man, you, you know, I, you know, that, that, that I, I joke and shit like that right there, you know, talk about fucking and shit like that. Well, you know, what else is there to talk about? Yeah. Uh, people get offended nowadays and because... It's so because when you come out with your opinion. And it, your opinion has solid facts behind yeah. it. Facts! Facts! You know what facts are, right? They, it's proven facts that your opinion is based on. It's like... And it's, they come back because you actually have real proof of something. They don't like it. So they're yeah. going to get offended but, by but, it. Let me ask you this. That's well, they why get offended people are, every time it, I mention that's fucking That's why people are in shit. jail. You want to know why? Because, because, like, because they have to build cases. Their case is built on, on fact. If they had no facts, people wouldn't be in jail right now. So, that's why people get easily offended. And people get fucking offended about stupid shit. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 Dumb it, shit! It, it doesn't have to be in anything. It don't have to be wrestling. It could be anything. Like, people with gay marriage get offended. I don't yeah. give a fuck. If two people love each other, that's their problem. Yeah, that's hey, their hey, problem. Hey, I, hey. I don't give a damn what people do behind their closed doors to me, bad guy. That's their fucking life. You live it the way you want to live it. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't affect my you life. It don't affect my life. Yeah. Why the fuck should you make an opinion about it? Mm -hmm. I'm, I that's nothing. You know, I People got get, friends. You know, shit like this. You know, why the fuck make an opinion about it? It, 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 it don't involve your fucking life, so leave that life alone. I got if friends they, If they want to love each other or lick each other's yeah. pussy, that's their that's fucking it. problem. I don't give a fuck what they want to do. That's their problem. But I don't care. If they love each other, they want to get married, they want to have children, or, or adopt, that, that's what they want to do. I don't care. That, that's their... Right. Is, is, is that going to affect me? It, no! Hey, no. Well, why do you have the right? Why do <laughs> if you... it affects me... Why do some fucking schmucks have the fucking right to opinion of, of such shit like that? There's too many... I, 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 how, okay. Where are we at in society day? That's why I fucking hate... I fucking hate this world. I really do. That's, this is why, that's why I would love to see and, a fucking comic. And, and, and they think everything's going to be solved with a fucking march. Yeah. yeah. Fucking they march. march for fucking everything. Oh, yeah, you, know what? March, you know what? March you know what? You know what? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a statue. march of my own. i tell you what. I'm going to march for the hangnail. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna march for Fox's gray hair. You damn right. I'm gonna march for that shit. I'm gonna march for more pussy. 
Yeah, now, that guy, that's something everybody can get behind on. But this, all this I'm saying society. is... society. This what? society is so butthurt. And talk about shit that don't need to be talked about. What? Won't we talk about something bad? They always talk, mention something bad about the world. Don't mention anything positive. Uh -huh. They always want to talk about the bad shit. Yeah, the and they always want to, want to mention the dumb shit. And how dumb shit is. And that's why I fucking hate this world. <laughs> and the people in it sometimes. I agree. And that's why, why I stay by myself all the fucking time. I'm going to tell you the truth about this it's, right here. Uh, last comments. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah gonna last comments. I'm the truth right here. Up. It's like my grandpa would say. You know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. If you guys enjoy... Yeah, this is America. <laughs> Freedom of speech, motherfucker. Freedom of speech. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to share it. America! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> share it all over social media. Like us on ah! Facebook. Facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. We have fun. Follow us that. on Twitter at Wrestle Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to each and every day right here for one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today. Wrestling Rampage. Got that yet? We are at Cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better.